Bernie, right? Jim. My favorite doctor. <laughs> Good to see you. How do you feel being back? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm a little bit nervous coming back to the scene of what happened. Are you willing to go on this journey with me? Because it may be a lot more than what you've bargained for. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What I'd like to remind you of going in is please don't tell me too much of what you think you know or what you've heard. Uh, I don't want to be tainted by uh, wrong information. <clears throat> OK. OK. All right. OK. Look at these doors. This is quite an old hotel. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is not what I expected. There's a reason we're being drawn here. I, I'm getting the feeling that the energy here is too much. Oh, wow. You better not change the rules on me now. Well, something very tragic happened here. The energy here is... It's churning. She's not speaking in complete sentences, though. She said, getting married, getting married, the wedding, the wedding. OK? It was my father. It was all his idea, not mine. Her husband was it a young man that worked with her father. And her dad picked him and, and thought that would be the perfect mate for her. Mm. So she married this man, and she says, I did it because it was my father's wishes. She's telling me her whole world fell apart. She didn't love him. She didn't even want to get married. So she has a big regret. She looks horribly injured. That's incredible. You saw this woman. Yes. Same woman. Yes. She's ushering in someone else. I'm picking up a man whose name begins with an initial A. Yes. Is that your father? Yeah, they call him Al when he got to this country. And his real name was? Abraham. Then this is your father? Yeah. He's coming across very apologetic. Um, oh, boy. She saw a lot of similarities with you, your life, and her and her life. It's got something to do with the pressures from your father. She said that you're a better person than she is. How do you relate to this? All of his life, I couldn't be an actor. I had to be in the jewelry business. I didn't like his pushing me into it. I, was, I rebelled against that. She knows you could relate. That's what she said to me. Um, I just have so many things going on here. I have a woman telling me how she got married and didn't want to get married. I have a vision of blood-stained carpet. I feel as if there's a, a host of other spirits waiting for me back there. OK, I do know what happened. OK, go ahead. OK. In 1927, the couple came here on their honeymoon, and there was some kind of serious issues. At one point, he got furious with this deceit. And he picked up a candle holder. And I don't, I don't want to frighten you, but he bludgeoned her again and again repeatedly. <laughs> Eventually, he killed this woman. And that would account for the blood. That's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something else going on. Wait, hold on. It's a man's blood. Um, 
she's certainly telling me straight out right now, that's not what happened. Um, I don't know, there's a, the pool of blood I, I saw before was near a bed. Let's go find that. Oh yeah, this is the vision. This is where I saw the blood stains. That, it's like that side. Hold on a second, I have to see what happened here. Ah, oh, there's just too many spirits at once. I'm just trying to get a handle as to who they are. You have to excuse me because they're all talking to me at once. Um, too many voices going on in my head. Could you excuse me? Sure. I'm feeling very lightheaded. I I'm feeling sick to my stomach, and, and I, I need water. I need, I need to just excuse myself. Of course. I'll be back. Of course. Does anybody have any water? Oh. Do this right now. Oh. I need some fresh air. This is this is so this is too much. This is, this is the place where everything happened to this you. This is where it was. This right. is where it was. So what I'm happened? Just Let me just show you. It was no, down, no, no, this, no. down this hallway here. We were right around here, and now this wallpaper, but before, 20 years ago, it needed some repairs on the walls here. So we were spackling at that point a female figure comes through the wall. And as she turns around toward us, I can see it's not a normal head. And she starts to move. Like glide, like I saw glide, before? Yeah. With a look of accusing and anger, and then she stops, and it's like some realization happened, and she turns around and goes back, and she's gone. So Earl and I were both just terrified. She did not come here to show herself to Earl. She came here to show herself to you. She told me she jumped. They found her suicide note. I'm seeing your father again. What he said to me was, he has learned so much from you throughout the years since he's crossed over onto the other side. Because now what he realizes, you actually made your life happen. Mm-hmm, yes. It's not so much about what you've accomplished that he's so proud of, it's who you are as a man and a father. What you say is powerful stuff. Is there anything you want to say to your father? Because this would be the time. I forgive you. I know you only pushed because you wanted me to be safe. And eventually you found that you understood what I wanted. And I'm grateful for that. 
and you can rest in peace now, too. I love you, Daddy. Thank you. That was beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful.